Hello, 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 sisters and brothers. My name is Tracy, coming right back to share another word with you guys. Listen, I just have to say that God is a good God because he's God. Listen, if there was no God, there would be no us, right? Without him, there is no me. Without him, there is no you. That is alone right there, enough to give him praise, glory, and honor. Listen, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm grateful and excited because God allowed me to see another day. And I give him all the praise, the glory, and the honor. It is due his name. Amen. Hallelujah. I had to come out with a bang, get started with a bang, okay? because I'm reminded that God is good. I'm reminded that it is only because of him that we move, breathe, and have our being, right? It is only because of him that blood pumps through our hearts and oxygen moves through our lungs. It is only because of him that we have the activity of our limbs. I don't ever want to get it twisted. Amen. That is only because of God. And I give him praise, glory, and honor today. He is my father, my daddy. Okay. And I love him. I know he's yours too. God gave me a beautiful word this morning. He's so good. God is so good. I love the way that he comes in and encourages us because I need it too. I need it too. Remember, I'm human, just like all y'all, right? He just you know, decided for some of us to come behind this camera and, and, and share word. Amen. But we're all family and we're all human beings and we all need encouragement. We all need love, right? Amen. Amen. And so the word for today, let me see. I don't know if I even have the title exactly right, but we want to talk about never losing sight of God's covenant. Okay. So it's going to be something like that. The covenant, never lose sight or never lose sight. The covenant, I don't know, something to that effect. The Lord led me over to scripture this morning, just encouraged me. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna start with the scripture that the Lord gave me first, okay? And that just blessed me because I needed to hear it, all right? I needed to hear it. God is good. God is good. Let me say right quick, I pray over every seed that comes through. Thank you guys so much for sowing into the ministry. This is good ground. I am about my father's business. Thank you for um, the prayers, the words of encouragement the support. I, I'm telling you, look, y'all, I appreciate it. Okay. And don't mind this hair because yeah, I, I really didn't feel like doing it today. I'm just going to be honest. I threw a little water and mousse on it and, and called it a day. So, but I thank you guys so much. I love you. I'm praying for us. Okay. I'm praying for all of us. We will make it. I understand that the journey gets um, tedious. It gets hard. It gets tiring. We gets, it gets frustrating and all of those things. God knows it too. And so I'm praying for us that God will con continue to strengthen us every single day. Amen. Amen. So let's go over to Isaiah 54, 9 and 10. And I'm just going to read that to us right quick. Okay. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I would not be wroth with thee, nor rebuke thee. And this is um, one of the main scriptures here. It says, for the mountains shall not depart and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee. Hallelujah. Okay, God said his kindness will not depart from you. Amen, from us. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Lord, that hath mercy on thee. Okay, and, and, and verse nine, it says, for this is as the waters of Noah unto me. God is talking about a covenant that he has made. We remember the covenant he made with Noah. Amen. This is why we still see the rainbow to this very day. Okay. I love to see it. It is a, a beautiful and a wonderful um, reminder of God's covenant. Amen. Amen. And so um, I'm just excited about the beautiful words of encouragement that the Lord have for us today. Um, I don't know about you, like I was saying, but I need it and it is always good and it's always right on time. Listen, if you have not seen my video from yesterday where I shared just a little bit of my experience traveling in Illinois, I was in um, Springfield, Illinois and Chicago about eight to nine months ago. You guys go check it out. Okay, go take a look at it. Go take a listen. It might be a little funny, but um, God is amazing and he moved and I learned a lot about it. So if I don't remember um, 
to put it in the description because I often forget. Go check it out, you guys. Go go see it. I know it's not about everything people want to hear, you know, a marriage word or a money word, but at the end of the day, it, it's it's some encouragement to know that when you're out there traveling, God is with you and he does amazing things and he comes through just like he says that he will. It is not, it is not often, I thought I seen something, I don't know, uh, but if not, thank you, Holy Spirit for coming in. It is not always the way that we want it to be or the way that we think it um, should be, as I often say, but God still comes through nevertheless, okay? I'm learning that. I, I learned it on that trip and, um, and I'm still learning it now. Amen. Amen. So listen, so um, <clears throat> we read the first scriptures, which was Isaiah um, 9 and 10. Um, and for a while, the Lord has been reminding me of his covenant. Okay. It has been weeks. He is letting me know I am faithful and, and my covenant, I will not break. Amen. Hallelujah. God's promise is his promise and he won't take it back. Okay. He is a covenant keeping God. I can't say it enough. I cannot remind us enough. I, I I love when the Lord reminds me, Tracy, I am a covenant keeping God. I am a faithful God. You can trust me with everything that he has spoken to us and what his word says, what's in the scriptures. Amen. Amen. So I've also been seeing the number eight a few times. It's been highlighted. Um, and we know that the number eight represents new beginnings. So it's no surprise that the Lord led me over to our next scripture, which is in Genesis chapter eight. Hallelujah. Let's read a little bit. Let's start at verse one through five. Let's try that. Um, but God remembered Noah and all the beast and all the livestock that were with him in the ark and the waters subsided. Okay. The fountains of the deep, I'm sorry, the fountains of the deep and the windows of heavens were closed. The rain from the heavens were restrained and the waters receded from the earth continually. At the end of 150 days, the waters had abated, meaning they reduced, okay? They become less. And in the seventh month, on the 17th day of the month, 717, the ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. And somewhere I read, um, you guys, that Ararat, and I don't know, you know, it, it means that the curse was reversed. Amen. But anyways, you guys go look that up and kind of study it yourself. Verse 5, and the waters continued to abate until the 10th month. In the 10th month of the first day of the month, the number 101, um, the tops of the mountain were seen. Forgive me, y'all. And so that's all I want to read. And so verse verses um, 16, God told Noah and his family to come out the ark. Okay, I want to say that. Let's skip down to verses 20 through 22. God's covenant with Noah. That was the title of my Bible. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took some of every clean animal and some of every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And when the Lord smelled the pleasing aroma, the Lord said in his heart, hallelujah, I will never again curse the ground because of man. For the intentions of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I ever again strike down every living creature as I have done. While the earth remains seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. Thank you, Father, for the covenant. This entire chapter, um, this entire chapter blessed me, okay? It was just a beautiful reminder of God's covenant. I don't get tired of God telling me the same thing. I don't get tired of him reminding me of what he said to me, reminding me of what he promised, okay? Verse five says, but God remembered Noah. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God is not the kind of God to forget any of us, right? He will never forget the covenant he made to you and to me. He will never forget. And also Noah had an appointed time. This is the part where we get tripped up at. Now, now, now is our requ request from God. Okay. It's our petition. Me and request just don't, it don't roll off my tongue. I don't know why. Um, he doesn't. Okay. There is an appointed time that God has set had set up for Noah to come out of the ark, right? 
it was an appointed time now can you imagine how terrible it smelled in there i mean because like elephants you know what i'm saying and just cows and you know and have you ever driven past um and this is out in the open i cannot imagine being in the ark driven past um like a place or a part of town where there's like a bunch of cows you got your window down or the vent open and that aroma that smell comes swooping through your car and you're like um oh my goodness oh my goodness right so can you imagine being shut up in the ark i don't care if there was some windows open that was not enough for all of those animals it was probably pretty rank okay i'm just saying okay and how crowded and how uncomfortable it probably was right and remember 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 noah had no idea when he was coming out of the ark he had no idea how long he was going to be in that situation amen he did not know god did not tell him in 10 days in two years in six and a half months the lord didn't say that and and we know i know we can attest to that's that that's pretty accurate with, with what we know about the lord right he does not give us all those details praise the name of jesus okay he does not and so um remember uh noah sent out what a raven and a dove and he's checking has the water subsided enough yet like okay and he kept sending um the birds out to check to see when he was coming out right he was trying to see when like i go back to the lord and i'm sure you do like daddy is it time yet for the thing or is it time yet for the storm and the struggle be to be over i know you keep telling me you're coming out i'm gonna do it and and we just saying when god when 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 is it gonna happen i'm tired i'm frustrated i'm struggling i'm crying and we're asking when and god keeps saying i am going to do it that's what he keeps saying i'm gonna do it and so in many of us i understand it though no judgment here i'm just saying this is the this is the word okay okay and we're like i'm tired of hearing that <laughs> i'm tired of hearing like god's gonna do it and and even you know i was saying this morning like a little bit thinking like daddy i have been giving these words for a long time you know and i know i'm a true woman of god i know i'm not coming on here lying but i'm like you know father like you know i mean we're getting some testimonies don't get me wrong uh but you know i'm like i'm ready for like back to back to back like that's what you said amos 9 13 through 15 message translation praise you jesus at the end of the day i trust him amen at the end of the day i trust him weary tired and all i trust him okay he is a god he cannot lie it says so in his word for god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent amen and 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 the, in there it also says in the word of god that uh god's like is my hand too short that i cannot say like if i say it won't i do it hallelujah amen amen and so noah kept checking to see um, when he was going to start this new life. Okay. We're talking about the number eight as well. Okay. When do he get to his new home? I know many of us asking that like, father, where is my settlement place? I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay. I'm tired. Okay. And he's like, when is my family going to expand and grow? When, 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 you know, that's what we say. That's what we say. That's what we're asking now. When God win. Listen, there is an appointed time. Amen. There is an appointed time. Th there is. We have to continue to trust and believe. I know that we talk about Abraham a lot, right? Um, but he he had to trust and believe. And in Romans chapter 4, 19 through 21. Excuse me. Um, it says that Abraham was not weak in the faith right he was strong knowing that god was going to do exactly what he said that's tracy's paraphrase y'all read it please romans 4 19 through 21 okay he was not weak in the faith that's what the bible says 
but he was strong, giving glory to God, knowing that what he had promised, he is faithful to fulfill. Something like that. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, so there is an appointed time. We have to hold on to our until our change comes. Amen. So verses 13 through 16. Listen. In the 601st year, in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters dried from off the earth. It finally happened. All right? It finally happened. Amen. And amen. It finally happened. And Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked and behold, the face of the ground was dry. He finally arrived. It, the, the water finally, look, the storm finally stopped. Hallelujah. Verse 14. In the second month of the 27th day, 227, the earth had dried out. Verse 15. Then God said to Noah, verse 16, go out from the ark. Amen. Amen. Go out from the ark. Okay. I just read part of verse 16. Again, you guys go do your due diligence and read. Okay. Listen, that's so amazing to me. There is an appointed time for you to come out of the situation and to go into the new that God has for you. Okay. Only God knows when that is. All right. We got to trust him, y'all. I know it's hard. I was struggling yesterday. I was struggling yesterday because I'm like checking to see God. Am I, am I on point? Did I miss you? Did I, I, I wanted to make sure that, um, I was doing what God wanted me to do. Am I still in alignment? I was just checking you guys. I was just checking. I was just checking because, well, I'm not going to get into that. We'll talk about it later at another time. And so only God knows when, and it is up to us to keep the faith and listen, this is so important and to worship him in the wait. We have to worship him in the wait. I'm, I'm finding that that is so important. So when I begin to um, begin to question too much or, or um, worry tries to creep in or doubt tries to keep in creep in or discouragement i have to go into worship immediately okay immediately the enemy has been putting all of this stuff in my mind he has been trying to come in extra and i am having to fight him in here okay all of these thoughts and i'm like the blood of jesus Casting down imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ in the name of Jesus. Shh, be quiet in Jesus' name. Okay, so I don't know about y'all, but that that's that's me sometimes. I'm just saying. So listen, God is telling us today: never lose sight of the covenant. That's the title. There we go. Never lose sight of the covenant. I believe that's it. Worship while you wait tired and all okay worship while you wait worship while you wait do not let the desires of your heart or the things that you are waiting for consume your mind so much that's all you can think about no that's not how we wait let me tell you something i'm telling you what i know because i already did that i, I did that it would consume my mind so much i'm i'm just being transparent and honest and i had to reel it in come in and and shift my focus on God, on him. It is, he's the giver of the promise. So we have to worship the giver more than the gift. He has to be the apex, okay, of our thoughts. Amen. Yes, you can enjoy your life, okay? And, and you can go out and have a good time and, you know, hang out with your friends or whatever you do. I'm just saying that God has to be first. Amen. I'll never stop saying it. He has to be first. He has to be the center, the core of your life, of your very being. Okay. I did not find myself until I found Christ. My identity is in Christ Jesus, period. I did not know who I was. I was so busy conforming to everything else. 
to everyone else, whether it was a boyfriend or a husband or a friend. Okay, whatever you like, girl, what you like? Whatever you like, no. I, the Lord was like, uh, no. Let me begin to show you, Tracy, who I created you to be. And that was late in life. Late in life, I finally like, okay, okay. And I'm beginning to know who I am. I, and love me at that. You got to love yourself. Listen, that was just a little sidebar. Listen, worship while you wait, okay? And never lose sight of the covenant. That's the word for today. I'm going to go and get off of here. I got a couple things to do. and um, But before I do it, I'm going to sit with my father, my daddy a little while. And I'm just tell him how much I love him and how grateful I am that he's my father. Hallelujah. He is my daddy, y'all. I love him so much. I don't even know what to do. I'd be like, can you just hold me? Okay. Can you just hold me? Have y'all ever did that? I'm getting off after this. Have y'all ever did that? I'm like, daddy, can you just hold me? And you feel this warmth come over you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. In the arms of Jesus, he is carrying you. Y'all be blessed and encouraged. Listen, if you're new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him. Sweetheart, it is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you just now coming back, check it out. The most important thing is that you're back now. Okay, enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God, that is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? Sometime I just draw a blank. Rest upon you and your family. You all be blessed. Jesus, help me, Holy Spirit. You all be blessed. I love you so much. And Jesus loves you so much more. And until next time, Remember to not lose sight of the covenant. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.